You can use your tongue for dhikr and elevate yourself, or you can use it to debase others and yourself. And if you talk too much about the business of other people, you're going to fall. This tongue can do so much damage here. You can ruin the reputation of someone else. You could paralyze an entire community with gossip and with slander. And now with the internet, you can spread lies throughout the entire world. But as much chaos as your tongue does here to others, it damages your hereafter far more. Now the flip side of that is that a tongue can speak a small word of goodness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. And the person who's speaking it doesn't realize the weight of their praise or how they help someone with a simple word of kindness or with a simple word of gratitude. People are raised ranks by the praises and pious use of their tongues or they're thrown into the depths of hellfire by the harvests of the tongue. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I saw a group of people. They were scratching their chests and their faces with copper nails. And I asked Jibreel Alayhi Salam, Ya Jibreel, who are these people? These people literally scratching their faces off. And he said, these are the people who ate the flesh of others by backbiting and they trampled people's honor. The scholars mentioned that the connection here is that when you humiliate someone in this life by damaging their reputation, you make it harder for them to show their faces in public, which means you're effectively removing them from society. So here, the people that do so are literally removing their own faces as a punishment. And that's just the beginning of it. The Prophet ﷺ said, the worst people in the sight of Allah on the day of resurrection will be two-faced people. People who appear to some with this face and to another group of people with another face. The worst person is the one who uses their tongue to abuse or betray. And that person is going to be miserable on that day for the misery that they caused others in this life.